Okay, here we have the New Line Idea Max. This is a new line of interactive light ports from New Line. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reset the calibration to clear off any old calibration on there. And then calibrate. And we just touch each of these little crosshairs in the center. And that's gonna ensure that the mass cursor is right where we're touching on the board. So we hit OK to clear that off. This here is your toolbar. And uh, we're going to start by hitting the Start button. It's going to give you a lot of options here. Uh, you have a file that you can save, export uh, your documents that you save in there. You can print. We have tools here, including Spotlight and a screen recorder and a keyboard, which we'll show you in a bit, including a few little math tools. We got triangle ruler, compass, a ruler, and a protractor, as well as a timer. Um, we can switch user. There's three different user levels on here, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. And basically that just changes where, where some of these options are. In advanced, the toolbar is much larger, everything's accessible in the toolbar. For beginner, it's more of a menu-based. Um, people that use Windows probably more comfortable using it this way. You can change backgrounds. You can bring in images, and you can even close out of the software right there. So right now we're in mouse mode. We can use the stylus pen or your finger. So I'm going to go to touchboards.com. And you can see I can use my finger to type that in. Oh, there's touchboards right there. Oh, let's show you something else. Go back in the start menu. Go to tools. We have spotlight feature. This is pretty cool. As you can see, it grays out your entire screen except for the part you want to look at. And you can even move it around. So it's going to highlight just whatever you want to highlight in particular. Everything else is going to be blocked out. Double click on there. You can set some of these. You want to make it a little more transparent. You can do that. You can change the shape. Rectangles, triangles. I'm going to switch modes here. Go to presentation mode. As you can see now, we have a lot more icons that come up here. Uh, we got screen annotation, which is now where we are. This is a blank white screen. And uh, I'm actually going to go back a little bit to our live screen, which is the screen annotation mode. And uh, we have zoom. We can zoom in. We have a pen. We have a paintbrush. We have something called a laser pen, which is pretty cool. This is good for presentations because you select the laser pen. And now let's say you want to highlight something, make sure people are looking at it constantly. Well, I'm going to draw a big arrow to it. Look at that picture. Now it's flashing, it'll keep their attention on that one spot. And it'll stay there until you touch the board again. The pen here, and we can change colors on the pen. It comes up as red, but let's say we want to write in blue. You know, we can uh, write in blue. I can circle this here, this series R5. Uh, let's say I want to clear that out. Select the eraser. And this is this is really cool, region eraser. We have this whole line here that we wrote on right here. Well, I just got to draw a line across it, and it's gone. I'm going to change line thickness. I'm going to make it a different color. Let's pick up the red pen, and it change it right back to red. So I can write in red. I can write in red with my finger. Create. We can promote creativity, motivate, we can demonstrate using this board. Pull up a blank white screen. Now you can take notes on it. So we're still on our red pen, but let's just say, welcome to class. You touch your hand, your full hand to the board. You can slide all that out of the way. You don't have to erase it, you don't have to pull up a new screen, and you can just keep on writing and do whatever you want to do. Move it right back, you can hit save, and it's going to ask you where you want to save it to. You can pull up the keyboard, put in a file name, save it to wherever you want to save it, and you can pull it up later on. You can uh, look through all the different screens that you've gone through, as you can see, access them whenever you need to. You can change line sizes right here, now you have a thin line, back to the thick line. We can 
undo, that line just disappeared. I want to erase something, there's an eraser. I can also change it where you want a pixel eraser and you can erase a little bit at a time. Or you just don't want to deal with it at all, you just hit clear all and it'll disappear. Now you got a blackboard. You can write in red, you can write in white. You can access an image library. We can pull up images that we can put in our uh, presentation. Let's see what we got here. We can put that right there in our notes. We can move it around. We can move it there. We can make it larger, make it smaller. Let's rotate, you can do that. That's a, that's a basic rundown of how the board works. Uh, we really like it. We think you're really going to like it. Uh, it's a great price, and the floor stand is optional. It comes with wall mounts, and uh, you'll find it on touchboards.com. Give us a call, check out the website, send us an email. We'll get you anything you need, and we'll get your price quote.